Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to consistently carry on Garen in the top lane. You're gonna want to take Phase Rush instead of Conquer with Nimbus, Celerity, Gathering, Storm, alongside Second Wind, Overgrowth, Double AD and Armor. Sometimes you can cheat and t not take Second Wind and instead take Conditioning. Conditioning can be kind of greedy though because you want to keep your HP as high as possible so you don't end up getting dove by the enemy jungler and the enemy top laner. Garen's biggest weakness is how easy he is to gank. Phase Rush covers that up really well. It also lets you stick on top of people with full spin cycles. To proc your Phase Rush, you're going to need to auto attack, Q reset into E. Pretty efficient. Or better yet, if you have Iron Spike Whip, you can Q, E, Iron Spike Whip, and pop it instantly. Just three separate attacks. You can take Ignite. However, Flash Ghost gives you better carry potential, whether you're playing anywhere from Iron through Challenger. In team fights, the ghost getting the extensions from every kill and assist is super nice. Plus, having the extra mobility allows you to close in on the target that you need to kill, whether that's a Soraka or an Ash in the back line. Ignite's a bit of a noob trap uh, in terms of getting yourself killed by enemy jungle ganks. Up against a Shen, we don't really want to push, especially since he has Ignite and we're one of the easiest lanes for Yi to gank. So here we're just blocking our minions. So even if he didn't touch them, his wave would be pushing to us. We'll go ahead and get a point in our Q. Spin's dangerous to start, even though it's your highest damage ability. Landing the whole thing is iffy level one. Plus, you're likely to push the wave because minions are going to get in your way and they're going to end up being collateral. He just lost minions to do that. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's missing, He's missing some stuff. That was actually really good for us. We didn't miss any minions there. We got kind of lucky because when when they start hitting you and you're near your minions, your minions will start to focus them. We'll hit him with a Q and back off. That was a great trade for him. This matchup's really annoying for Garen in the early game. So just keep your HP high and don't get yourself killed. With how we played it, the wave's coming towards us anyway. So auto attack Q reset. Oh, that minion crept up. It's unfortunate. We'll hit him with a QE. And we're close enough to our turret to where he can't really taunt punish that too hard. But we are missing some last hits. A little concerning. Auto attack Q reset. We'll back off. We still have our passive on. So even though we're taking minion damage, not too big of a deal with our passive running hot. Auto attack Q reset. Auto attack E reset. Mm, it's unfortunate. We have the wave pretty much where we want it. It's a little too close to resetting. Auto attack, Q reset into E. We got our shield on. His circle seems to block all of our E damage, unfortunately. Garen's E does apply some on hit. So Shen's circle seems to be a pretty good counter for your spin. We'll go ahead and pop our potion now. Keep our HP nice and high. His thing should still be on a cooldown, I think. QE will phase rush off. He burned his flash. He literally doesn't kill me here. Yep. That is pretty funny. We can go right out of his auto attack range, kite him out with ghost, and then get the kill. That's hilarious. The funny thing about it is you'll generally, I don't want to say lose, but you can't really win pre-6 without Ignite and Conquer, which is fine. You'll play in your turret and they get really cocky and try to dive you, which Garen's perfect for because of your W. When you activate your W, you get a shield and tenacity for three quarters of a second and you get damage reduction for two full seconds. It makes you super hard to kill and super slippery. First item rush, normally want the iron spike whip or tier two boots. I'm feeling the iron spike so we can proc phase rush instantly. Shen lost so many last hits here. It's a really ugly situation for him. You don't ever really want to try to gank Garen early unless he's giga low and it's free. Because of his W, you can always bait you out. The shield is going to be more than any champion's auto attack. Uh, on top of the damage reduction, 30% is a lot, so... So it's not a good idea. Plus, Garen Q cleanses all slows on him, so not an easy thing to pull off. Garen's usually a lane you just leave alone. He does have a minion advantage here. 
We apply our phase rush and we can back off. Not a terrible trade for us because we have higher healing than he does. From our passive. We both took D shield kind of funny. He has boots though. His grasp is up. We'll hit him with a Q and the E. He taunts away because we're too close to our turret for him to really follow that up. Hit him with an iron spike. That was a late W on my part. I was trying to block that auto attack. Try to mitigate some damage, but just didn't pan. Once we get six, we can kill him. He took a turret shot for that. It's still kind of worth because he scraped off our passive, so we both took around a round of turret shots worth of damage. But I don't think I even need Viego here. I'm not really fast enough to chase this guy though. Viego should be able to take him solo. I couldn't keep up. I don't have boots, and he has boots. You can rush tier twos on Garen. Iron spikes are nicer for applying your phase rush. Pop our Iron Spike Whip, spin these down, and we'll crash the wave. Probably get at least one plate out of this. We'll get our health back. We might be able to push him off the turret. I don't think Viego wants to <clears throat> fly trap him here. Yeah, Viego doesn't seem to be very interested. I should probably just back myself. We got quite a bit out of this too, so we'll head out. Our ward gets vision of the Shen, auto attack Q reset. We get another plate, so two plates and a couple of minion waves. He lost about a minion wave and a half. We should be able to kill him now. Right when he goes to taunt, we need to pop W. That's a mistake we've been making consistently this game. If we can land a W right as this taunt's hitting, we'll mitigate not only the damage of the taunt and his auto attack burst after, we'll also reduce the duration of the taunt by 60%. That's all we really need. Should be faster with tier two boots. We are heading in the stride break. Now oh, he thinks he's gonna get a plate. That's kind of funny. Auto attack Q reset. That was a solid trade for us. We pop W. That was the first time we actually did it right. What goes for this? Auto attack, key reset R. Down you go. And that's the power of Ghost. He just absolutely had no way to get away. So he just turns in for the all in. Yeet is six here. We don't have to fight though if we don't want to. So we're chilling. We'll leave control word here. We might be able to push him off of minions. So at this point in the game, we can start to take over. As long as you survive, don't miss too many minions pre-6. Garen is a bit of a gimpy win. Goodbye, Master Yi. Nice try, though, buddy. Oh, wow. I accidentally had a misclick. I clicked on the minimap and nearly got myself killed there. That was a huge misplay. I probably wouldn't even have had to use my flash, but my mini ma mini maps on the larger side. So when I like clicked, I don't know, just a bad click. Pick up a long sword and a dagger and head back to lane. That's hilarious though. We burn his R, we burn his flash. That's really bad for champs like Yi and Evelyn who need to snowball when you get their R and they get nothing meaningful out of it. Keep using our Q to get back to lane. E max and a Q max and a W max. Every champion is going to have their main engage tool, when, which is when you're going to... Or their main spell, when, which is when you're going to W. So, for example, Maokai, right as his snare is about to hit you, you'll pop W. Because he's going to W snare you immediately. W into Q, I should say. If people aren't really willing to play against you anymore, you can look to shove and invade jungle. Garen E does massive bonus damage against monsters. He's an insane counter jungler. He's trying to slide his thing through me here. He's trying to get it. All right, he didn't want it for whatever reason. We have minion advantage. 
He just doesn't want it. I don't know why. He's tanking my minions though. I think guess he's trying to freeze it here. This isn't going to be a good sustained trade for him, even though he's landing constant grasps. Yeah, this is kind of weird. We'll go ahead and back off, take a camp. We have time for our next wave to roll up. We can also take vision control. When people start turtling up like this, if your jungler doesn't want to dive them, and if you don't think you can kill them in a dive, it's kind of hard with Shen because he can block off most of our damage with his circle and his self-shield on passive, so. Your E also shreds armor if you land enough of it. Six strikes off of it. They lose 25% of their armor. He's probably resetting for item. He's going to lose double camps. And he's probably going to run into us here. His red buff's down. Thing is, Shen has R, so I can't really assassinate Mastery very easily. It wouldn't be effective. We'll head back to lane. Unfortunately, our wave is shoving towards him for bad RNG or less. Ooh, no taunt. That was a mistake. Q into him. E Iron Spike. Block an auto with our shield. Auto attack Q. Couldn't quite get that last auto. We missed cannon, though. That kind of painful. Oh, his taunts back up? What? Wasn't really expecting that. Did he max taunt first? Yeah, Shen's so annoying to deal with on Garen. So obnoxious. We did get double camps, though. I think we just look for Krugs and to reset here. Our jungler is kind of pathing towards it. You should probably just reset though anyways. And I need really I really do need the gold. We should outscale Shen for the team fights pretty hard. Looks like he's resetting. He's gonna lose wave and maybe a plate. I am a-okay with that. He's at least gonna lose this wave. Minimum. Yeah, he loses plate sick. If he TPs, I'll stay. Otherwise, I'm backing. All right, we're out of there. Pick up that, grab that, and we'll head back. Oh, it looks like he did R in there. He took Ignite, which is pretty standard for Shen. Even in high elo, Shen's will run Ignite. Gives a lot of all-in potential like you've seen this game. He's tried to all-in me with his Ignite a couple of times. Main thing that put us behind early game. There was one or two engages where I didn't pop W whenever he taunted. That was something that got us disproportionately low on health. Outside of that, the turret positioning, playing defensive and just farming till 6 is kind of what you want to do on phase rush. Ghost Flash Garen. He's going to lose turret for this, so it's, it's not a terrible trade other than Bran dying. That part just doesn't make a lot of sense because I already got dragon, but turret's pretty good to have. First turret gold as well. We get the wave shoved and we'll get some of their camps off of it. There's no point of roaming to this. You might think, oh, but I could get a kill or two. Good, good chance the fight's already going to be over. Not only that, there's a good chance they'll see you coming from across the map, across wards and turrets. And they'll just run away and you'll waste all that time when you could have gotten guaranteed value just by staying. I mean, they've lost a turret, a monster camp, several minion waves. It's a lot of golden XP. We're two levels up on this guy. Stride Bake's pretty good for split push as well because the attack speed you get is very solid. I'm going to roam mid. Mastery is going to maybe mess with me here. Where's this guy going? Q and E. Got off our phase rush there. Can't really keep up with us at that point. I think we should go back to fighting the Shen. We can shred his armor with our E. I think Shen's still chilling over here. The fact they're all being so like aggro. 
We pull him back with our phase rush. Would have hit him with an R. Flash away with the Q on. We should be fine. Oh, this guy's chasing. <gasps> We're out of there. We could even stay, honestly. I'll, I'll reset, though. Garen R does true damage. You can't really block with our W. Our R might have killed Mastery. I don't think we procked it. Popped his shield bow, though. So he's still shockingly tanky, believe me. We're looking for Oral Reminder second item pretty much every time. Then instead, Mans are Hold Break, depending on what you're trying to do. I'm thinking Dead Mans against their team. It's because they are so chasey. Their whole team is a chasey, triple melee type of comp. I need to go fight the Shen with the Stride Break. I can force an all-in fight with my ease. I should be able to out-damage him, especially if I block his taunt with my uh, W. Ghosted a little on the early side. Hit him with the Stride Break. Q and the R, goodbye. Didn't need to use R, but I wanted the gold. We get the Ghost Extensions, and this is where you see the breakaways. We stack up more gold and XP. We have the true damage, Shen doesn't have true damage, and we can slice through him with our true damage, plus E armor penetration. Someone's getting frustrated, so they're trying to quit. There's no need to quit. We have Garen. Easy win. They're only up a dragon on us. They have one turret now. They're really not ahead at all. They're up two kills. Big whoop. With the QE, stride break. For some reason, my jungler wasn't interested in this, even though this is like a free kill. Look how much pressure we just drew. Now, if our jungler fought here instead of trolling and backing, that would have been an easy double. It's fine, though. Everyone makes mistakes, including me. I've made many mistakes this game. You just got to do your best and focus on what you can control. We'll let him push up a bit, give ourselves more space to kill him. Probably auto, Q reset, E, stride break. He's checking over the wall. Taunt's on a cooldown. I have the wave, buddy. Yeah, you got you got to come to me. I, my minions are chasing him an absurd distance, though. Like, what the heck? We can actually kill this guy. I think he has a teammate coming, though. The way he's acting, we nearly just killed him. Like one more all in and he's dead. He's literally dead. <laughs> His taunt's on cooldown. Goodbye. I need to leave. Ooh, this is weird. Jin ghosted for that too. Oh. This is kind of weird. Well, they get a shutdown. Hopefully, we can get a kill off of it because they're over chasing. We do get a kill. Eh, it's not terrible. We had nowhere to go. We bought some time. If we can get a dragon off of it, it's even better. This is definitely a dead man's game, though. If we had a winged moon plate, we might have lived there. Or, heck, if we had a wind dragon, we definitely would have lived. One for one plus dragon, definitely worth it. We can push up, take all of these camps. That's the perks of taking their turrets, man. Sitting on the split, we can take all of their top jungle camps. Yi's falling so far behind. No CS. We've taken his top side several times. He's going to fall so, 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 so far behind. At this point, we'll go for blue ward. Constantly use your Q to get out, out onto the map. Constantly. Every time it's up. Cast is scaling. These guys are in trouble. They're in big trouble. My ghost is up. I'll be able to destroy Jin. I'm going to be tasting Garen's wrath. QE stride break. Hey, friend. We're so fast, though. Look at the phase rush. We blew nothing. Normal abilities plus a phase rush, which is like 24 second cooldown right now. Or maybe it's 14. It's pretty short. Q into E. He actually tried to kill still me there. Wow. Shen's gonna really go break my ward with a butthole. 
I wish Viego would stop playing topside because he's not actually helping me like last time when he left. He's just stealing the camp so I can't get them. I could be taking all of these anyways after I shove wave. Because you need to stay alive when you're on the split. You're applying a constant source of pressure that's drawing multiples. So after you shove up too far, you can back off, take some camps. But now we have nothing to take. It's really annoying, actually. So look, look we're up farthest one on the map, and this bunghole just took my camps. Ugh. We, we should boom, wolves, gromp. But now our teammates are the farthest ones up on the map. We should push back up. Need to maintain some pressure. Q to each stride break. Shen left it. So now all my teammates need to do is back up. They don't have to do anything. Just back up, and we take turret. Even if my teammates die because they're goofballs, we'll get turret. We'll auto attack Q reset, use our Q speed up and we're out of here. I wish I had some camps to take. An unnamed bunghole took them from me. Oh, this guy's dead. What is he doing? Hit him with the stride break. Look how fast we are. We're actually so fast though. Especially when we have flash. <laughs> We're wasting his time. Maybe we still get Gromp. Cass is here, I think we can. Yeah, they don't want it. Go, Cass, go. You can do it. Believe. I'm on my W. Cass is getting focused. Oh. Oh, we got to get out of here. Master, he's starting to shred when he's lethal tempo full popped. I need my teammates to not play on top of me so I can split. Shen can't match us. E percent based armor shred. Plus our true damage R equals he can't fight us. It's just there's no pressure on the map right now. Mid lane has some pressure. I assume a lot of this is warded now since Jana was here. We might be able to find something on this guy. He does have hole break. Look look for the Q stride break. Got the phase rush on. I popped W. I thought his taunt was gonna hit me, but it didn't. I think his teammates are rotating, so we need to back off immediately. That's what you're seeing. We have winged moon plate so we can get out. Turns out they're not chasing, they went bot instead. But then now they might be since they saw me again. But now they're not because I can see the mid. Got him with the stride break. Jin's here. Phase, phase rush gets us out once again very easily. And my teammates are playing around me, which is a massive mistake. They need to just play the rest of the map. It's very simple. You don't play near your split push. You, you let them keep sending two and three, I live, and then we win the rest of the map. But this is just not worth it. It's just putting me in a spot where I'm going to get killed because I'm getting baited by really dicey plays. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Just one of those things. Only so much you can control. I'm not going to type anymore. You should never type. I should have just blue pinged them away typing does nothing it just makes people get feel really attacked mm, damn i did a lot of damage there almost all magic damage too we got shut down but once again there's two tops so we should get dragon off that even though we gave a shutdown which sucks I'll do it for Dragon, but like I said, we shouldn't have died there, and we did almost get a kill on Shen. He lived with like 100 health, so. We'll pick up... I'm actually thinking Force of Nature after the Dead Man's. Could just go Hole Break. Yeah, it's a tough call. Okay, we'll go Phage for now. We'll go Hole Break after. Hullbreak gives a lot of armor, magic resists. And I do really want the magic resist, the sork shoes I'm having to deal with. W is giving us 30 armor, 30 magic resist at the moment. 
We have them down to the inhib, so we can start poking out that raw when the enemies step up, which is why you're going to see us get the rest of the dragons. If they do hard five-man press for dragons, you're going to see they're going to lose inhib. Possibly a base turret. He's on a split. No one's going to go match it, apparently. We'll take this along the way. I guess you can end. That's chill. You don't force Baron when someone's on your inhib. The only reason you even get Baron is so you can get inhib. It's it's foolish to say the least. You never force Baron raw like that. That's how you lose the game. It's really pointless. It's how you it's how you all die and you give Baron at the same time. It's just it's a cool little trick. Q into R. Goodbye, Shen. They're apparently trying to take Baron. Cast did a good job. Stopping Yi single-handedly. Luckily, since he's cast and Yi's behind, it's possible. Cast is looking for the TP play. Yeah, the, literally the only reason in League why you even go for Baron is so you can take inhibs. Because you're going for Baron under the pretense of they have inhib turret. And they're clearing the waves too effectively to where you can't pressure the turret. So you need the Baron buff to be able to push down turret. So when that's not the issue at all... And we're consistently getting dragons because we're applying so much pressure. You don't randomly just start Baron. That's how you lose the game. That's like you, you have a programming job. You're making 200k a year and you're like, oh, I should rob a bank. And then you go rob a bank and you die. It's like, why'd you do that? Just keep doing what we're doing. It's working great. There's no reason to add all this bizarre forced risk here. All we need to do is just keep doing what we're doing. Now that we have inhib, we don't really need to be here anymore. I need to go opposite side. <laughs> he red smited me. They might actually die here. Stride break with my Eon. I hit, hit him with my dead man slow there. Yeah, these guys are in a tough spot. Brand has slows as well. Looks like they're going to get out. They're only slowed so much, I guess. We'll play opposite side since we have in inhib. We'll start racking down the other turret since Shen can't solo us. Ezreal left a little bit out of position there. He decided to go Rambo mode 1v5 on broken inhib. Let's catch this wave. Good thing we have this cast, man. Having someone else who also scales is nice. It's just so much forced nonsense at least we get a turret out of it 5v5 on garen when you don't have ghost is kind of hard everyone just runs away from you or you get kited out usually both combination of the two we can kind of fight e we'll hit him with a qe forces r and back away he's gonna check his krogs you're gonna see they're gone QE stride break and look he loses half his health now he can't stay or I can force an all in he has shield bow so don't think our R is gonna kill him he's gonna have a huge chunk of health left over but now he can't match me is the whole point we have pressure he can't stay with that little HP and if he does we can roam and he can't match it because he's low HP we'll go take his raptors while we're at it that's the nice thing about the phase rush. It lets you do that. If I had Conquer, I would have been all in there. And you might have been able to kill me with the Rage Blade Shield Bow. Because we're only three items. He's a two item youth lethal tempo. That's pretty scary. Got him with the Q. Stride Break E. Pop him with the R. Want to try to let them get down to 25, 35% health. Starts out at 25, goes to 30, then 35. And see, now we get Dragon for free. All that pressure. We wipe Yi off the map. He has to leave. Silas has to fill his place. He dies. And now we win. Garen is a really good champion to learn macro, split push, and just patience with. Since his pre-6 is kind of bad. You have to learn how to just stay alive without losing too much CS. Got hole break. We'll sell this and grab the wing moon plate. We're going to be so fast. They'll never be able to catch us. Only one who will be able to keep up his mastery if he's on his R. He doesn't have ghost, which is an unfortunate choice from him. So even when he's on his R, in between autos, he's going to fall behind. 
because you're having to temporarily stand still to auto. The Baron Force, not a fan. Same reason. All the enemies are alive, and there's just no reason to force it. I don't think we even had a pick when that was forced. It happened to turn out, but that doesn't mean it was a good call. I'm actually a little surprised that turned out. The enemies just didn't react, I guess. Brand's backing. Uh... We'll ghost this guy down. Ooh, we didn't get who we wanted to there. Yeah, I trolled. I did a troll low lol move. At least Cass gets to eat back line. It turned out, but not because of me necessarily. I'll take it though. What a game. Jin's kind of crazy fast. Maybe he was on a ghost as well because he was moving really, really fast there. Silas hit us with a Garen R. I think that's it. I think that's GG's. What a game. Quite a bit of fun. We'll get damage dealt, damage taken. Can't imagine we're too high since we weren't participating in a lot of fights. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were actually top three. Pretty happy with that since we were splitting a lot. We weren't fighting and getting to, to uh, milk our damage dealt. For damage taken, we took the most on our team. For self mitigate, it's going to be between me and Shen. Shen took the most, I took the second most. So I took the most on our, my team and overall the second most in the game damage taken and damage mitigated. Pretty happy with that. Really good value out of our runes. I like this build a lot and I highly recommend it. Just be patient, hit six and win the game. Uh, don't be afraid to trade if they're forcing it though. Like if you're going for a last hit and they don't have the tools to like destroy you, don't be afraid to hit them with a Q and back off or uh, auto QE back off. But the goal is to not mindlessly shove waves and then die to ganks is the ultimate goal. Hit six, then win the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.